Hello everybody, this is Kaizen here and welcome to a brand new series here on my channel. This is Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. So yeah, Expert Mode guys, this means that, you know, it's going to be difficult. There's going to be uh, much more difficult recipes and stuff than in the normal one. Now, a few things to get into straight away. You have obviously noticed that I'm using a texture pack and a lot of you will probably recognize it as the Sfax BD uh, Craft, whatever it's called. Uh, that one that everybody uses. Uh, I kind of went for that. And, you know, I just kind of like it. And I don't often use texture packs, as you know, but this time we're going to do it. So for this mod pack, we're going to have one where I'm actually using a texture pack. So that's super exciting. Um, also, one other thing to say, if you want to, like, you know, play along at home or you would like the seed or whatever, uh, the seed is Kaizen2019, uh, all one word, obviously. So, yeah, that's that. And we have spawned in a really cool location, I have to say. I am very excited to get into this pack. Um, obviously, it's a big pack, and it's going to be a difficult pack, uh, you know, in terms of it will be challenging, but I think it's going to be super fun. And we've got like a bit of a thing here, you know, I could dig through there, and quite easily we've got a little island here to start on that's near the woods, near animals and stuff, so I think we are pretty much good to go. Um, so we're going to want to get some wood pretty quickly, but one thing I like to do is climb up to the top of the biggest hill nearby when I start off in a new world, and just kind of see what's around. Um, you know, just take a look at things, see where we're at, and see if there's anything of use nearby. Kind of get our surroundings a little bit. And what have we got? Let's have a look. Let's come right up here. We've got not a lot. I mean, this is mainly, there's like planes and stuff down there. Perhaps my render distance could be a bit better, but, you know, kind of uh, saving on the performance there. So I guess this works. Um, so this is a pretty isolated area by the looks of it. You know, pretty protected. They're all walled in stuff. Um, look, look at this guy. We got a Highland Bull. <laughs> How cool is that? A well-fed bull, it says. All right. Well, he might be feeding me in a little uh, while, because that's obviously one of the first things we'll need to do. Get ourselves some food sorted out. Um, now, Vein Miner is in this pack, I believe. So let's test that out right away. Uh, we got oak wood or spruce wood. Let's start with spruce. Um, oh, hang on a second. Um, right, let's go to controls. Um, and what I'm going to need to find is vein oh it's not very minor uh must be excavator um is backslash okay i want it to be that instead and then what do i want to do now show the conflicts yeah i know that but that's fine i don't mind let's get rid of that and let's go for what is it the quest one and we'll make that um hmm can we make it slash no we cannot make it slash well, I guess we could, let me see, um, here we go, make that backslash, that'll be fine. So now, now this should work, right? Let's try it out. And it does, awesome, that's brilliant. I do love myself a little bit of the old vein miner, um, particularly when it comes to cutting down trees, that is just super useful. So we've got some wood there right away starting off with. Um, oh, do you know, I have missed this pack, <laughs> um, not the pack, sorry. Because um, obviously I've never played this pack. Um, I've missed this texture pack though. Um, I do love the textures. It's pretty awesome. Um, okay, so what do we need? So you see here we only get two wood planks for each one. All part of the expert stuff going on here. Now, pretty sure that if we make a vanilla tools, they only have like one use. Um, and we have to get straight into tinkers. I believe that's the case. But let's try it out and see if I'm right. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's, well, technically two uses, but still, not a lot of uses. So, that's a thing, I thought it was, um, basically all part of the expert pack, and that means we're going to need to get into sinkers pretty quickly. So I want to come back out into the open here, out into like our, well, what is going to be soon at least, our base, and I'm going to have a little look at the quest book. I think that's going to be where we're going to start off here. Um, cool texture for the, uh, the quest book, cool artwork there. So quests getting started, that's where we are at. Um, I guess we do welcome. Welcome to Enigmatica 2 Expert. This mod pack is designed to challenge the player through various means, especially harder recipes. That is certainly true. I was having a look at this before, actually. Um, I advise I advise <laughs> that you automate crafting of as much as possible, as early as possible. Things are going to get complicated. Sounds good. Check the checkbox to get your starter kit. I suggest you make a backpack out of the tanned leather and wooden frame. Good luck. So we just do this and we claim our reward. Awesome. There we go. Quest complete. Absolutely. And that wasn't too difficult. 
So all of that goes on like that. Um, and, oh, apparently there's another quest complete. Then it wants me to do this and make a backpack, and I shall oblige. Um, right now, I can put a few things in there, I guess. Put in some of that, some river canes. Uh, the rest of the stuff, I don't know, we might need on us. Um, so that's done. That's awesome. One quest down. <laughs> um, oh, what's this? Did you know we have vein miner? So was this just... Oh, just because I got 16 wood, that was the reward. Okay, cool. Four chests. Uh, now, that's not bad because... If I type in here, chest, here we go. Oh, uh, not a trap chest. Um, in fact, actually, can I just, uh, I think I can just recipe this. You can see here, we need logs, um, planks, and a button to get our chest. So that's like one of those recipes that has been beefed up. Similarly, um, where's just a normal furnace? They all look different, don't they? Because of the, it's going to be getting used to this uh, extra pack for a little while. Okay, here it is. So you can see here, we need coal or charcoal, we need gears and compressed cobble just to get a furnace going. So definitely it's it's more difficult. Um, so I guess we want to keep going through the quests and um, scanning and then rare ores. Okay, well let's just see, what, see how we go here. Um, there's a slight chance per chunk that a super ore vein generates. There are six different kinds of super veins which can be found at varying Y levels. Uh, nuclear craft ores only spawn in super veins. The pack has a few different items that can help you find ores, the scanner being one of them. Um, so it wants us to make a scanner. Okay, I wonder if we're actually at a point in the game where we can do that. Uh, let's find out. Um, iron, gold, redstone, no, is the answer. No, we're not. Um, so let's go back, because <laughs> we're not there yet. Um, this one wants us to get a couple of flint, okay. So, gravel deposits is what we want. Now, we got one right here, but this is, of course, on the island that we're living on. So, I don't want to demolish that just yet. We could go over there, though. That looks promising, doesn't it? I should have made a boat. I wonder if the boat recipe is easy or not. Maybe I should take a little look at that, actually, when we get here. We've got some more berries here as well. Obviously, food early on is pretty useful. Uh, let's see. Can they make... Let's just make a, a normal kind of boat. Um, yes, they do. Okay, cool. That's very cool. So we're going to want one of those. I know I've got another crafting table just across the way. Um, crafting station now, though. I've upgraded. <laughs> um, so let's get a boat going on straight away. Oh, look at that. Spruce boat. Cool little texture for it there. Awesome, awesome. So what we'll do, we'll run over here. Definitely want to get these berries. Did I not get that one? Oh, there we go. And there's a huge gravel deposit here. I shouldn't be sprinting too much. I'm jumping around, wasting all my food. And we're about to use Vein Miner, and that will take up a little bit of food, but kind of worth it. Oh, look at that, the water seeped in. Doesn't the water just look really cool with Sfax? One of my favorite things. Oh, look at that. That really did a number on our food. <laughs> um, quest complete, though, so we did get at least two gravel out of it. Uh, sorry, Flint, I should say. Wow, look at, look at that. How much gravel and Flint we got just from that. Um, all right, let's get in our little boat. And let's head back over this way. Awesome. So yeah, um, if any of you do end up playing this pack, um, let me know. In particular, if you end up downloading this uh, this uh, exact pack, the expert one, and if you use the the what's it called, the seed that I did, I'd really like to know that. Do let me know down in the comments. Um, so we got that. Uh, oh, we got to choose. Okay, a netherrack pan, um, a cactus sword blade, or a steel knife blade. Um, steel knife blade sounds pretty useful. I think I'm going to claim that one. Okay. And for now, I guess we'll put that in our backpack. So I don't think we need it, along with all of this stuff, actually. So that can all go in there. Um, okay, so crafting station. Let's put that down here and see where we were in the quests. So we got the, the well, that done. Um, so the next thing is a clay bucket. Um, so, well, that's pretty self-explanatory. We're going to need some clay, aren't we? Um, the question is, do we get lucky? Is there some clay in here? Gravel. Um, doesn't look like there's any clay. Oh, what's that? Yeah, there's clay. Of course there's clay. This is the best seed ever. <laughs> All right, so we got some clay. I think it's just three clay to make a clay bucket. Certainly hope it is. And then you need to fire it, do you? Hmm, that might be a thing. Let's find out. So just like that gives us our unfired bucket. Um, okay, detect. I definitely have this. There we go. 
And we get a loot chest. Okay, cool. So what is in our loot chest? It is a flux infused shield. I mean, that might be useful later, I suppose. Not much use just right now in the backpack uh, with the clay, actually. Alrighty, so that's cool. We got that. Um, so now smeltery. Um, so that's going to be the next thing. We want a smeltery. Um, so I guess, I guess, I guess the, the thing to do is to get into building the Tinkers stuff, right? Um, so if we go in here at Tinkers and 72 pages, um, yeah, it's a bit of a, it's a bit involved, isn't it? I wonder actually, maybe I can remember all the recipes. Let's have a go at that instead. First thing we want to do, oh, actually, you know what I could really do with doing is trying to find some sheep because we are, it's definitely turning to nighttime. You see there at sunset and we're a little bit stranded here, aren't we? So can we get lucky and find some sheep in here? Um, well, there's chickens, which are not sheep. Um, but we are in the sort of place where, you know, we're in the right kind of biome and everything, right? Oh no, baby zombie. I hate those at the best of times, but on the first night without any weapons or decent food, they are not good. All right, I am going to go off, try and find some sheep, and if I can't, just entertain myself for the uh, night time, and then I'll bring you guys back in when we've got actually uh, something of interest to do. Alrighty, guys, so we are back at the uh, spawn island kind of thing that we've got going on here. You will see I managed to make a bed. Um, I did lose some hearts in the process, but that's all good. Just found one of these things, persimmon. It's pretty cool, actually. You hover over it. It says there, not yet eaten. What does it taste like? Well, let's find out. See what it does. Certainly heals a good amount. Um, so I guess if I found another one now, it might say something about what it tastes like. So I guess I kind of needed two of those for that to work. Never mind. Um, okay, so we wanted to get into doing some tinker stuff, right? Um, so recipe for a blank pattern. Um, assuming that's just the same. Yeah, okay, cool. So can we do that? Yeah, we can, okay. Um, but we haven't got many to do that with. So let's just get some of those going on. And uh, let's add in those, make a, a ton of those. Now then, how does this go? So we need one of those. Uh, do we want that to be spruce? Probably not, probably want them to all be the same. So I want that to go like that. Um, let's, of course we need two of those and then we can make up the crafting bench and we can get our tool station. We've got tool, part, um, was there one? No. All right, hang on a second. We got our part builder, we got our tool station. Um, we want a pattern chest, that's for sure. Um, oh, okay, it's just a normal chest with that above. And we also want the stencil, uh, stencil table. Uh, so let's make one of those as well. And again, we wanna keep that too. We don't have any oak logs, there we go. Okay, so now we're ready to rock and roll. Ready to do a little bit of tinkers here. So I guess we can go, let's see, it makes sense to go like part, stencil, hmm. Can that, well, I guess I can connect up like that, right? If I, if I do this, does this, does it, oh, does, that, does this have to uh, be in a line, potentially? That might be why. Let me try this. Yeah, here we go. Very cool. Okay, so we're ready to go. So in here, we'll put in, actually, no, not in there. In here, we'll put in these. There we go. Um, so we can get into making some tools, which is awesome. So we're definitely going to want a pickaxe. We know that. Shovel, of course. Um, an axe is always good. And a sword blade pattern for the sword. Um, we're also going to want, of course, tool rods. And we're also going to need bindings. So there we go. We are now ready to go there. And I think actually, maybe we just do everything out of flint for now. We got a lot of that earlier on. So that seems to be the way to do it. So, hmm, what am I doing wrong here? Um, see, this is where knowledge of tinkers is really helpful. Here we go. <laughs> uh, it's been a little while, guys, okay? Be kind. But we're gonna get all of our stuff now. That's what matters. Oh, oh I do that so often. Wait, what was that a little a little goat? Um, okay, that's not super useful. Um, we 
<laughs> we can, we can, we're going to need more flint, but we can make some tools, right? I'm just a bit of an idiot. Um, I guess we want to pick axe first. So, hey, we got enough, uh, oh, what? I made 16, oh, I made all the sword blades and I didn't make any tool rods. Oh my goodness, what a disaster. That's such a useless thing to do. All right, let me go and get some more flint, get our tools sorted out, and then we'll get into doing some more, um, I guess, resource gathering at this stage. And uh, maybe, you know, reading up on some mods <laughs> so that doesn't happen again. Well, guys, as you can see, I now have the full set of flint tools all sorted out. Um, and I was taking around my tool station with me because... Uh, Oh, I've misplaced it now, but never mind. <laughs> because you can repair your tools along the way then, so that's pretty useful. Um, so it's, you know, does, you'd have to take it with you and it's an inventory slot, but obviously with a backpack and stuff, you have a lot. Uh, now, what I really need now is I'm out of food. You can see I found a lot of stuff here. And I've got, you know, three chicken, 22 raw pork chop, stuff like that. Uh, but what I need is that furnace. And for that, I need coal as well as a few other things. But I'm pretty sure, oh, look at these things as well. How cool are these things? They look like those flying things from uh, Harry Potter, whose name escapes me, but uh, hopefully you guys know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, they look super cool. Um, but when I was getting um, all of this gravel before, was it was around here somewhere that I was getting it? And I'm sure that I saw a little coal. I just got to find the place again. Um, but I'm sure it was there. Maybe it was in here somewhere. Yes, here we go. Right there, look, we got some coal. So that's an awesome find, and we'll take that. Thank you very much. We'll try to. Oh, what is that thing? Is that near me? Is it, does it attack me? I don't know. I have no clue what it is. I don't know if it's going to kill me or something. Uh, looks like it's turning night time, so let's get back and have a little sleep. Um, but yeah, so now we can make our furnace, I think. Um, trying to think what else we need. I know we need some gears, but they're pretty easy to make because they're just stone gears. So I think beyond that, we're good. Um, and obviously, we need that to get our food cooked up, and that'll be very useful. So let's see about going uh, down that process a second. Um, okay, so furnace, where are you? Okay, um, so we need we need some of these. Um, oh, what are we missing here? Do we have cobble yet? I know we got some wood. Um, let's, we're gonna need to chuck some of this stuff away. You know what, I'll, I'll do some tidying up later. That can all go in there for now. So we'll get this out. Um, we don't have any cobble yet, I don't think. So let's just very quickly get some of that. We don't need loads of it, but just a little bit. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do, oh, if I can stand on this thing here, <laughs> um, is I'm going to vein mine that and vein mine that. Oh, wait, what is that? Coal. Oh, it broke my pick. That's why. Uh, but we got 35 cobblestone out of it, so that's good. Um, so I'm going to put in a little mine in there later going down. I haven't seen any caves yet, and I've done a fair bit of exploring just a while ago. Put some of these here as well to try and help us out in the meantime, uh, growing some berries and things, you know. So, okay, now that we've got that, we should be okay. Let's just turn a bit of this into planks because I know we're going to need planks. So stone gears. Um, what? We're not missing anything. You are wrong. Um, was it like that? Hmm. What is the recipe? Ah, I see. So like that, right? Wait, what? What am I doing wrong here? Stone gear. Cobblestone. Surely it doesn't have to be chiseled, does it? Sure, it could be any with any kind of wood planks. Unless it does have to be just. Oh, wait, that's Anders. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How many newbie things am I going to do? I am totally blaming the texture pack for that, by the way. Um, that was what happened there. All right. That's at least, you know, I'm not losing my mind. It was just, that was Anders. Like, hey, they look pretty similar. Come on, guys. <laughs> um, I thought that was a small vein as well. And I was like, maybe, uh, never mind. All right. So, this is stone. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. We're now getting accustomed to the pickaxe. Damn andesite. Look how similar that is to cobble. <laughs> oh dear, never mind. Okay, so now, 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 now we can make that furnace up. Oh boy. Um, okay, let's do that. So two there, two there, two there. And we've got our stone gear. Now for the furnace, are we missing anything? Compressed cobblestone. I need four of those. So do I have enough? I do. Let's do that and get that back. And now let's make our furnace. See, it's a bit of a faff. This is the expert mode. That's what it's all about, guys. Um, okay, so I'm going to want my coal. Um, and then we'll just get some of this going on for now. And then we'll get the other stuff smelting later. 
Um, well, I've done it. I've got the furnace. Um, bit of a faff because uh, I'm a noob, but you know, other than that, we're all good. <laughs> so let's go back to the quest book really quickly. Um, so we are on this one here, the smell tree. It's like the next thing that's going to happen. Um, that probably will be what I'll do next, uh, build the smell tree. That seems to be the logical thing, but I might start the next episode with that. Um, what I think I want to do just to round off this episode is to make a bit of a mining area. So um, for now, actually, you know, I'll do the bridge off camera and I'll make it look kind of nice. But I was thinking over here we could start our mine and just kind of mine down this way. Okay, so this is this is kind of the plan. So let's get that there at the moment. And we'll try and make it look nice and stuff. But we could come off like this, I would think. And yeah, just go down like this. Hopefully find a cave along the way. That would be awesome. Um, we're going to need some torches as well, aren't we? But if not, no worries. We can do some strip mining at different levels and just kind of get all of our resources together. Uh, one other cool thing to note, there's a slime island up there. And I have already got some slime from it. The slimes are just falling off and dying and giving us that. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so that's about where we're going to end it today, guys. Um, I think that's probably good enough for episode one. And it is getting kind of late here now as well. So it's probably going to be where we'll leave it. But let me know what you think of this series, guys, of the, uh, the new mod pack. And uh, obviously, as always, your suggestions and things are very welcome if there's anything you'd like me to do. Um, I believe there might be a way that you guys can actually build things and then submit them to me and I can kind of download them in the game and build them. I'm going to look more into that if you guys are interested. Again, let me know down in the comments if you are. And if you like this new series, then please let me know. But for now, guys, that is unfortunately all we have time for. So as always, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.